I'm actually going to not solve this question immediately. I'm actually going to use this as our way to demonstrate that we need a better way to solve than rectangular form. Okay? Let's have a look at this guy. Is that to the 6 equals to negative 64? Hmm. Okay? Now, if I try and pull the same trick that I, um, that I pulled over here, right, I can take that 64 over the other side. And then I'm just going to stop right about there. Right? Because unlike with the um, sum or difference of cubes or the sum or difference of squares, um, I don't have anything for to the power of 6, nor for anything else for that matter. I don't have to the 4, 5, I don't have any other numbers. Okay? So therefore, this way of just doing it in rectangular form is not sufficient. It's not enough. Okay? So what I need to do is I need to appeal back to what we were saying before and do it in monarch form. Okay? So rather than attack this question, right, I'm going to attack this question again, the same one, but can we do it completely in monarch form? Because then that'll give us a path through here. Is that okay? Can we try this same question? We know what the answers are going to be. We know what we're predicting. Can we do it in modern, what I call it? Okay, you ready? We're going to use uh, Demarvis theorem. Okay, so again, I've got z cubed equals 1. But instead of moving the 1 over the other side and then trying to factorize, I'm just going to go straight with this guy, right? If z is this, right, then I said, no, z cubed should be like this. Is that okay? So I'm going to have this. Um, I need 1 as a as a polar form, as a mod arg form complex number. What is it? The modulus is 1. What's the argument of 1? Zero. It's 0 because I'm right on the positive real axis. So I'm going to write that as cos 0 plus i sine 0. Is that OK? Yeah? On the left hand side, I haven't quite left myself enough space, but I'm going to use De Marvis theorem and write it out with the case where n equals 3. So I'm going to have r cubed cos 3 theta plus i sine. 3 theta, okay? And I'm going to say why I know that, because of this theorem that I can quote. Okay, so first step, we're always trying to get the modulus first, because the rest of it depends on the modulus. So in this case, you've already done this, so you know the modulus is going to be equal to 1. Okay, so here you can say r is equal to 1. Right? Therefore, taking the moduli out of the way, I get left with this. Are you happy? <coughs> Excuse me. Now to solve, I'm going to do the same thing. I want to do my comparison of real and imaginary parts. Okay? Now this seems like a little more work. It seems like, like I could have just gone straight to the quadratic in this case. But this is going to be a much more versatile way when we attack this guy. Do you see why I'm trying to justify this? So when I equate real and imaginary parts, I'm going to get two solutions, okay, or rather two equations, right? I'm going to get the real one, this, and then I'm going to get the imaginary one. Okay, are you happy with that? Okay, now, for reasons that I hope will become clear in a second, I'm going to do the right-hand side one first. I'm going to solve for using the imaginary part of the equation, and then I'll come back to this guy in a minute, okay? If you've got sine of something equals sine of something else, then clearly, one of the solutions to that is where those two things are the same. Do you agree with that? Like sine x equals sine y, well, x and y being the same, that'll work, right? So that's a solution. But it's not the only solution, right? Think about what sine looks like again. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's the sine curve, right? So there's a whole bunch of solutions, right? In radians, what are the kinds of solutions that I'm getting off this? Can you read them for me? You've already got the first one, zero. What's the next one? Go on that way. Pi. Pi. What's the next one? Two pi. Two pi, and then three pi, and then four pi, right? I've got all the multiples of pi. I can also go in the negative direction, can't I? I can have negative pi, negative two pi, negative three pi, and so on. Does that make sense? So this is not the only solution, right? There's a whole bunch of these other ones, in fact, what I can do is that I can add, now for this guy, I can add any whole number multiple <coughs> of pi. Do you agree with that? I can add any whole number, I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pi, I can go negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 pi, etc. So I'm going to say plus k pi where k can be any integer I want, right? That'll capture the positive and the negative. Is that okay? So I'll say it like <coughs> this. 
Is that alright? Now, just let me make a really, really <coughs> subtle note here, right? This line we just wrote, this line we just wrote, strictly speaking comes in uh, another topic that we're going to learn in TRIG next year after we meet um, radian measure and ex as an extension one topic. This is called general solution, okay? It's called general solution because I'm not just giving you one solution or the solution in a particular domain, I'm giving you every single solution, right? It's a generally working formula that'll give me all the answers. Yes? Um, for the cos 3 theta, were you meant to write cos, theta, cos 0? Ah, uh, yeah, I was. I was. Yeah, I was giving yeah that made a bit of a difference. Right? <laughs> okay, all right. Now, let me just finish off what's happening here on the right-hand side, right? 0 plus k pi is just k pi, right? So I'll divide through, and that gives me this answer. Is that okay? Is that all right? Now this is not bad, but I need theta, just like I've been sort of drumming into your head from like these kinds of examples, I need theta to satisfy not just one of these equations, I need both, right? That'll tell me exactly where I can go. So let's have a look at this guy, right? Now, thankfully I have the right thing on the right hand side now, okay? Just like I had before, one of the solutions to cause something, it was cause something else, is where those two things are the same angle. Do you agree with that? So three theta equals zero, is a solution to that equation as well. That looks promising. That looks exactly the same as this, okay? But hold on. Hmm. What does this look like? Ah, uh, whoops. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. What does cause, what does the graph look like? Let's do this. Uh, say this comes. Okay, where are my solutions? Where do they come up? Okay. Now, don't forget, 3 theta equals 0, right? So, in other words, cos of 3 theta equals 1. Do you agree with that? Because cos of 0 is 1. So, here's a solution, right? There's 3 theta equals 0. Here's another solution, because they're all equal to 1, right? Here's another solution. And I can keep on going forever, right? How frequently do my solutions come up? Now, they don't come up quite as frequently as over here, right? Here I've got... 0 pi, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pi, they're all fine. But that's not 1 pi, it's all the way at the end of the period, right? That's 2 pi. And when I go to the next solution, again, I have to go through a whole other period. I have to complete the period. So therefore, I've got 4 pi over there. Right? Do you see what's going on? So cosine works a little bit differently, right? It's not just multiplying, adding on multiples of pi. I have to multiply, sorry, I have to add by the even multiples of pi. Does that make sense? 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, and I can still go in the other direction. Negative 2 pi, negative 4 pi, they're all okay. So I've already stated what k is, so I don't need to state it again. Okay, okay now you have a look at this with me. Remember we said I need theta to satisfy both equations, right? Both equations. So I needed to do this one and I need to do that one, right? But only some of these solutions are okay, right? Only some of these solutions work over here. In fact, exactly half of them do. I have to reject all of the odd multiples of pi. Do you see that, right? This list effectively is um, dot, 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 minus two pi, minus pi, zero pi, two pi, and so on. Okay, but this list over here is these guys, 0, 2 pi, 4 pi, I'm missing half of them, right? So I only want the ones that are in both lists, the ones that satisfy both equations. So therefore, this is like the more picky version of the, um, of the solution, if you like, okay? Does that make sense? It's a bit like you've got, um, you know, in a family when there's two siblings, and one sibling will be like, oh, I'll eat anything, right? And then there's a picky one, okay? Well, you buy food that both of them can eat, which means you're catering to this guy. Right? So, <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay, so now I'm going to solve this. There's 3 theta equals 2k pi. So, d equals 2k pi on 3. Okay? Can you see that this is, again, another general solution? It will give me all the versions of theta that I want. It only gives me half of the ones that I get over here. Okay, I'm missing a whole bunch. Okay, now. I know the modulus, there it is. I know the argument. Now I'm ready to actually state my solutions. 